why did we choose the blockchain as today's topic of choice? If we don't sit down and, 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 and just grab this thing and understand it, somebody else will. Somebody else will come in and eat our lunch. Somebody else will come in and disrupt us and take away the, the intermediary role that we all play. You know, we talked about the Development Bank of Singapore evolving to become the Digital Bank of Singapore. And if we do this right, we can also be your partner as the DeFi Bank of Singapore. And I'm going to be politically incorrect to say that we'll show you how what is commonly known as fiat currency is actually a flat currency and not an intelligent currency. And why is it so sexy and why is it so interesting? It's because each time when a transactions get created, it requests for a validation by a note. So everybody who's in the network gets the opportunity to validate it, make sure that they know that the transaction is real, it is correct, and then it just get locks in for it to be recorded, and everyone on the chain gets to see it. And that's the beauty of blockchain. Ladies and gentlemen, the topic of the panel this morning is digital finance to decentralized finance. Do we need decentralized finance or do we need finance to be more digital? I guess when DeFi comes in, I'll actually take something in my little wallet. Everything what you do uh, in, inside my small and smart contract and how do I protect consumer? How do I ensure the oracles are pricing rightly? How do I ensure there's no bug on the smart contract? Uh, so there are the open questions. But from a regulatory perspective, we don't want to step away from that. Now, don't defy the defy. When you talk about uh, regulations, we should not limit ourselves to central banks or the regulators, classical traditional regulator. We should expand that definition beyond central bank. So I think this is a reflection of an underlying broader trend, right? So you had web, what we call web 2.0, which is a centralized business models on the internet where what we call big tech more popularly now. So big society, to supplement this point, is not just regulators. It is government institutions, it's actually consumers, individuals who want to claw back some of that power. So the crypto world is actually an interesting articulation of that trend. The government body may get involved. They may be a late bloomer in a way. But for the most part, I feel as we go more in this digital world, we're, we're really going to drive more of a social consciousness, uh, which is going to self-regulate and that's, that's what we really want to get to right a low touch point from the government just to kind of give us more of a, a guidance and a, and a framework uh, for us to kind of play with it i do think um, it's not just up to the central banks it is a regulatory ecosystem in the first place if you think about regulators and that's true in every market if we continue as a collective community to go after use cases that matter and have massive impact globally um, regionally whatever the case is from here I think to me that is just, that's kind of the true north for what we're trying to do.